Hi, my name is Stacy and I'm glad to see you on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is about creativity paintings. Here I show masterclasses how to make in a modern interior paintings. Especially for my English speaking audience, I've made a playlist in which all videos will be in English language. This uh, playlist uh, will be called uh, uh, English version. So I also have uh, my own uh, Boosty page. Boosty, this is a website like a Patreon. There are so many different uh, subscription levels and especially for my English audience I made a uh, subscription levels uh, which uh, will called uh, uh, English version too like in YouTube. On Boosty you can support my channel. So come visit there. Well, let's start to watching a masterclass. I promise you that it will be very simple, very easy and uh, you will definitely be able to repeat it. Let's go! Now I will show you how to make such an interior paintings with relief. The process of making this picture is very simple in execution and I will explain everything step by step, what needs to be done and what actions to perform in order to get such a result, and it will definitely work out. I took a canvas 40 by 40 cm. We need to mark the middle of the canvas. And with a drawing compass we draw two circles, larger and smaller size in diameter. It is in the gap between two circles we will create relief. The hole from the drawing compass is covered with textile paste on both sides of the canvas. Now take a small and tight bag with a clear corner. From it we will make something like a pasty bag. Then I spoon out the texture paste into the bag. Pull the texture paste to the edge of the bag and cut off the small tip. Start laying out the texture paste from a small circle, there is from the center to the edge. Lines can be different in thickness, length, shape and direction. It is entirely your creative process. For convenience, while working, scroll the canvas so that the bag or hand accidentally not to smear and not to touch the lines already applied. It is possible that the very first lines you will be given hard, but after a while you will already be good to feel the force of the pressure on the bag, the direction on the lines and the amount of materials. At the first my lines go around a small circle, but closer to the middle of the lines become more sweeping. And if we have two large gaps between the lines, I squeeze out a new lines there. If you don't like something, you can always remove the excess material with a pellet knife or a wet cloth. Everything can be controlled, so you should not worry. Now I'm trying to draw lines in the direction of the, a large circle. If you have not found a suitable package, you can replace it with a large syringe. You need to choose a syringe according to the diameter of the hole through which the paste will exit. You need to get rid of the needle on the syringe and you can squeeze the texture paste right out of it. In this frame the texture paste is wet with the relief completely laid out. And in this frame the texture paste has already dried. You can see the difference in color between wet and dry material. The next step is to paint the relief with gold paint. This must be done before gluing the imitation gold leaf, because the gold leaf cannot be evenly attached to the entire relief. They will remain belt and so there is not noticeable. 
we make a substrate of gold paint. This is the result after applying three layers of paint. The next step is the application of glue for imitation gold leaf. Carefully read the instructions for the glue, as it usually needs to be dried. Now we take out the imitation gold leaf and put it on the picture. Then we glue the gold leaf with a brush. It's necessary to work with the imitation gold leaf in gloves. Since when they come into contact with hands, the gold leaf of uh, sweet oxidize and change color in spots. This will be considered a marriage uh, and everything will have to be redone. If you have gaps between the gold leaf, you can cover them with the smaller pieces of the horizontal and uh, fill this space with them. Now we need to brush away all the loose pieces of um, gold leaf with the brush, so they don't interfere with us and don't leave an air space between the canvas and the finished varnish. The next step I take shellac varnish and cover the entire golden part of the paintings with it. After applying the varnish you need to leave the paintings to dry for uh, 12 hours and then cover it with varnish again and leave it to dry for 12 hours. I took a black acrylic paint and I paint over the white parts of the canvas. Dry it and cover the black part of the paintings with a made acrylic varnish. We don't touch the golden part. It's already done. This is the finished result. I am sure that this picture will please your eyes and bring a positive, because you made it with your own hands. So, its value increases significantly. My video was good, so give me your likes and subscribe on my channel. I wish to you a creativity success and see you later. Bye-bye!